So, um, so you just got, how did you do in Mario Kart against Chachi? I won. Oh, is this her shirt? Yep. And presentation of the shirt, there you go. Just because I won. Because I won! <laughs> so, um, so why did you pick Mario Kart? Because I'm really good. <laughs> you, you played on Mario Kart last week. That's it's the only game I'm good at because I play it again. When my husband and I were married, we used to play Mario Kart all the time mm -hmm. before we had kids. Mm -hmm. And that was I just destroyed him at it all the time. And it would just what, make him so mad. Was it this version, the N64 version? Yeah, no, 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 no. This version. That's why I Excellent. had to have to be that controller. Somebody's bringing the Wii version later, I hear. What? I think somebody's bringing the Wii version later. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to I, play I, the Wii I version. Saw, I, I am like old school. I saw, I saw the wheel hanging out over there. Oh, so. I wouldn't know how to do that. I would not win. This has to be the old stuff. So, um, I guess the other question, uh, could you go 24 hours playing games? No. No? No, I can't do 24 hours doing anything. <laughs> right? Seriously, what can you possibly do for 24 hours? Awesome. No, I can't do anything for 24 hours. And of course, we're benefiting art. We're benefiting uh, art, art programs for underprivileged kids and everything. Right. Uh, what do you think about the importance of like art and you know? You know people? I think that it gives kids confidence mm -hmm. to you know they have that they have a talent mm -hmm. and they can develop it and share it with friends and then it gives them a confidence that they're good at something. So I think it should be encouraged. Excellent. What would you like us to see? Uh, have, have us do next year? Anything we should, you think we should add to this or? Uh, no, I think it's awesome. Maybe, I can't think of anything. It's perfect. I mean, you're the first it's hour, so there's not much to go wrong so far. Nothing uh, has gone wrong. It's exactly. perfect. So, well, thank you very much for joining oh, us. Oh, thank you. I had to go. Now it's a little tighter. It's tight. It's tight. I like things that are tight. It's very well, important. Well, we are here broadcast. with Panster. Oh, thank you. With this shirt. There it is. And uh, you just got done with your hour. I did. It was fantastic. Hey, what'd, you, what'd you play? We played uh, Halo Reach. Okay. And uh, I believe... Ho Chachi shot me more than the enemy did. Okay. So, wait, so wait, you were playing competitive? Or, uh, no, no. We were, were actually, we were actually doing co-op mode. Co-op mode. Okay. He's a very, very violent person. And uh, <laughs> would, would just uh, constantly shoot me in the face, which I'm pretty sure is not the... Well, it might be the object of the game. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't... I, co-op, I don't think that works out too well. No. So why would you pick that game? Uh, because I have it, and I also like killing things. Okay. That's a good start. Yes. It's a good start. Um... Could you go 24 hours and have you? What are you talking about? Playing games. Oh, playing games. Playing games. Because uh, yeah. the other yeah. thing, no. I mean, That's not I mean, those okay, pills yeah, for it. No, but no. Uh, I'd have to call my doctor. Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, I would call everyone I know. Hey, guess what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know. The last time I think I was up for 24 hours uh, was probably in college, and it was not for charity. It was for booze. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, of course, we're doing this for arts programs and everything. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think about the importance of arts with kids and everything? You, you know, here's the thing about, let's speak to college, mm -hmm. is whenever I was in school, uh, I always thought that art was the most useless thing I would take. It, mm -hmm. was just, it was just wasting my time. It was, mm -hmm. it was not adding anything to my life. And then now that I'm older, uh, it was actually the most valuable classes that I took. Mm -hmm. you know, not just in college, but in high school, in grade school and everything. There's that little bit of art appreciation really kind of makes you appreciate the, the world more. Uh, not that you can just see something and see that it's beautiful, but know a little bit of the history of it. Know, know, see the, be able to see the proportions of it and see the art mm -hmm. inside things you wouldn't normally see. So it's kind of one of those, with hindsight, it, it, you see things more clear. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think the importance is. It makes you enjoy life all that much more. Riz is in the chat room. He says Chachi is a very, very violent gamer. I know he plays a bit of Modern Warfare 3 with us. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Chachi, Chachi likes to stab faces. So. Oh, Riz IUP, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you, Riz IUP, did you go to IUP? I take it you did. That's where I did my undergrad stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, he went to IUP. Exactly. Yeah, there he, uh, you go. He graduated uh, uh, the last, last, uh, last year, right? Did he graduate last year? Yeah, yeah. His youth disgusts me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. So, well, um, anything you look we'll, anything, anything you improve on, anything different? Are you, are you looking forward to the game to play with him next year or anything? Well, no, I'm actually playing tomorrow. Okay. I'm playing tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Okay. And then uh, if, you, if I could, if you, if you can improve on anything, I would say more donuts. Okay. And maybe... I know we're getting some in the morning. It doesn't help me. No. It doesn't help no, me now. No. And maybe beer. 
Beer. Okay. Beer. It's, it's a BYOB event. So oh, I, I did not know. I think. I, 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 I'm pretty sure it's allowed. I mean, they've had beer in here before. So, uh, yes. I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very... What do you think? Is this your first time in the museum? You've been here no, no, no. I, I come here a lot, actually. I'm actually the mayor on Foursquare, the museum. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so we you were here, here a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. There's usually a lot of events that, you know, that happen here. And yeah, I just work yeah, downtown. Yeah. But I was here for the... Um, I can't think of his name. The guy that made uh, He-Man. Yeah. And uh, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing him disservice. Yeah, see, uh, I'll bring his up. His see, name. We up are here. the worst nerds ever. We should know we this. We filmed time. over there for Unsung. We did. Oh, did, we did our Christmas episode next door <laughs> in, the, in that wing. Um, oh. he, the guy, the guy that made He-Man, is actually from Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, it's from, I never knew that, and I'm like a huge He-Man fan. Um, you see, I don't want to like butcher his name. Lou Scheimer. Yeah. Lou yeah, Scheimer. It was Lou. It was Lou. He was, he was very... Lou. Was, we'll edit the part where we didn't know his name. <laughs> um, he was actually very, very old mm-hmm. and uh, had a lot of great stories to tell. Uh, but the, the, the thing I remember most about it is they hired this, uh, this young lady uh, to be She-Ra. And uh, she barely fit in her costume and was just annoyed the whole time. <laughs> because like everyone was just... Look, is, this, is this for kids? Uh... You, that, well, there's. We've been talking about cleavage already. Okay, so so there was like her cleavage w- was just right there, mm-hmm. and it, it, like people weren't even sure she had a face. They were just like, <laughs> hey, hey, that's the problem. How are you? You're just like she, you're just like she. I know, I know exactly. Yeah, I know exactly. It's like so. throwing chum to the sharks. <laughs> It's like the miso- they have a, they have a a, 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 a exotic uh, cosplay dancer uh, oh. a massage thing at the comic con and they it just like seemed like the most awkward thing to happen because <coughs> like the girls looked worried and then the people and then all the geeks passed I can't imagine anybody actually went for it because <laughs> you, you, know, you know what that's right because it was a uh, I was there right uh, yeah yeah, the yeah. Pittsburgh con yeah yeah so I actually went and talked to those girls oh yeah yeah and, and they were just. The girls were as nervous as the guys were. Uh huh. I mean, because you, you know you're a hot chick and you're dressed like like a poison ivy or whatever. Yeah. But then you still actually have to physically touch people. <laughs> and and like if you if you're anything like me, I hate touching people. Um, <laughs> see, I hate myself now, self loathing. Uh, but uh, they were just skeeved out by a lot of the stuff because mm-hmm. people would come by and it was expensive. They wouldn't get the massage, but they would just watch other people get massaged. Everybody's there trying to get their deals on comic books in the in the long box. I know. You know, you're I know. Not, you're like a, man, I, you know, it's not what they expected going into the comic con. Like, hey, yeah, oh. yeah, you know. So, but still, well, it looks like we're setting up for a Wii game. They moved the couch already. What is it? I know Chachi is it, is it a rock hates, band. Uh, Chachi hates movement. It's uh, I think it's Mario Sonic Olympics. <laughs> Ch- Which, you know, Chachi hates movement. He hates movement. He, you hear him on Awesome Cast every time I talk about the Kinect <laughs> batteries. Um, Chachi has some extra ones, and I, I'll have to find mine. But uh, yeah, he always complains every time we talk about the Kinect or anything. It's just uh, I, ha- I had not realized he was part sloth. Yeah, I know, right? Look, look, look at him. He's, ah, I got so two fingers. We're gonna get set up for the next game here, and but thanks for joining us. Thank thanks you. I'll playing, see you tomorrow. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye, internet. It's not a white angle. This is my um, <clears throat> my, this is my life partner, my stepson. Dan. This is my stepfather. We are here with the guys from GamesRefurDiets.com. Check it out. You Best guys, website. look it up. You guys just got done playing. Uh, Some Mario. Do we have to thing. name the game? <laughs> we don't want to give them any yeah, publicity. Yeah, I think I think you do. Um, it was Mario and Sonic at the London Olympics, 2012. Um, a plus. Oh, tw- 2012. This is the yeah. This is the newest. This B new minus. Edition. B minus. Okay. Find it in your local Walmart or GameStop or wherever you buy your video. Or games. Redbox, like we did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, go ahead and give them their shirts. Oh, there you go. I like this. Thank you. I feel like Thank you. we just won the Olympics. I do. Like, I'm using this as a towel to all the <laughs> athletic activities. I want to go. Th- like, I want to walk to the locker room. Like, hey, kid, <laughs> <laughs> give me that coke. It's supposed to be a kid stopping by yeah, here shortly, uh, actually. Oh. So, why did you pick that game, James? Explain um, yourself. We wanted to play Mario Party. But they were that was not available on any uh, red box. You know, oddly, I was sitting here and checked my email, and just happened, and this, uh, my brother left his phone and scared an alarm. Um, I just happened to get an email for the new Mario Party. Yeah, oh, really? I got that too. You're playing, I'm like, yeah, I got the email too. That would have been perfect. There are two. There are two enemies mm-hmm. coming into the Mushroom Kingdom, right? That's what your email said. I, I don't know. I didn't. Oh. Read I didn't read it either. Oh. Dan <laughs> has, has a direct line to Nintendo headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excellent, excellent. So, uh, could you and have you gone oh, 24 perfect. hours gaming? I could. No. <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> I might do it just tomorrow. Really? Just for fun of it. Right. I could do it. Yeah, I think anyone. What could are you gonna play? It. Probably Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Nine for hours. Yeah. What I mean. You might as well, right? What else That's is there to good. do? Yeah. What else? <laughs> hey, Krista. <laughs> There's an audience. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are your thoughts on the importance of art? Well, of course, this is for kids, uh, you know, art, art programs for kids and oh, yeah. scholarships and stuff. Super so. important. I think it's more important than um, food. Yeah. I think Screw just having, having art involved in people's life is just a great way to express yourself and kind of, you know, yeah. not everyone's a number person or something like that. And being able to have art is a great way Forget to sports. show off. We don't need sports. As, as you just demonstrated. Right. Right. Yes. Yes, exactly. forget those. That is not fair. Yeah. That's not so, it's it, it great that you guys presented a giant check again. Yeah. That's our thing. Next year, it'll be even bigger. Excellent. Chicken. Excellent. So, <laughs> we have tacos, right? <laughs> We're conducting an interview here. A taco interview. <laughs> You're tacoing over yeah. it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a fantastic hat. You need to wear it when you come over here later. <laughs> so, um, anything you'd like to see done for next year? Anything? What do you think we should do to More grow? tacos, clearly. More tacos. More tacos. There needs to be like maybe a taco bar. We need to talk to Las Vegas for next year. Yes, oh, definitely. Yeah. So taco bar. How about 20, 24 hour taco eating contest? Ah, uh, wow. Yeah. I don't think Tim will have us for that. You don't know. No. It's a silly place. <laughs> it is. It is. Well, I don't know if there have been relations up to snow for that. But thanks, guys, for coming. No along. problem. Thanks, been thanks guys, for setting up. Yeah. Absolutely. And we'll see you here again next year. Absolutely. Can't wait. You will. Right. Get pumped up. Here at Chachi Plays. He's got his T-shirt. There Let's it is. Let's put this on first. You're putting it right on? Well, let's first let him know. Your, your face. Three million people dislike this, if you can't That's read right. that out there. We'll bring the chat room up if they have any questions here. So... Uh, well, first, you almost had a mishap with the screen here you were just playing on. Guys, I'm telling you, it ain't easy being big. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And, and this is a big screen, and there's a lot of it room. Is. But it is. At 6'2", you don't know where you're going. You don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I was that intimidated by Chachi, and I'm telling you, I'm still flustered. This could carry over into a, a Yin's team softball season, I'm not going to oh, lie. Oh, man. Oh, man. This could, this could build animosity. I mean, initially, you know, he asked my help, and I told him what I wanted him to do, which was whiff every time he batted okay. in the upcoming season. But with the way things turned out, I don't think it's going to happen. So what was the score of the games? I mean, keeping score is really irrelevant. Okay. We, we were just looking at more or less the black and white of the winning and losing, and yeah, okay. I lost. Yeah. There was a lot of X's and O's, a lot of ones and zeros. Mm -hmm. We chose two different teams. Mm -hmm. I lost to Chicago. You lost to Cleveland. I lost. I got. I got shut out. I, under, I understand Cleveland's pretty good in that game. I think this game is 1989. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we're talking like the Bernie Kosar years. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric That's Metcalf. True. That's true. I mean, they had a quality team back then when they had a team. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, things have dwindled for them. So I'm not really too unimpressed. Mm -hmm. Did I expect to do better? Yes. Did I hope I'd do better? Yes. Was my thumb nimbly outwitted? Absolutely. I mean, in, in Tech Mobile, it's a game of centimeters. It's a game of millimeters. It's how you hit the controller. And today, I didn't have a thumb. No? No, I was out-thumbed. So, so why did you pick that game? You know, look, I look at what I grew up on, what I grew up playing, what I like to play, what brought me and my friends together. Mm -hmm. And I really thought Tech Mobile was a, a, a good opportunity to, like, resurrect that. And, and Chachi's are close enough to my age and mm -hmm. close enough to my years of growing up that I thought we could share that. And by far, we shared it. But <laughs> sometimes you share some things you wish you didn't. <laughs> I'd like to have taken my my what, reign what, to my grave. What, what happened this last hour? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was weird. Tequila and, and, and Tech Mobile. You, I you mean, just came over from Las Vegas. Yeah, we stopped you over there. You brought tacos. Thank you I very much. I brought tacos for you the guys. The chicken tacos Good were call. amazing. I brought chicken, beef, and veggie. I don't know who was eating what, but... I, 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 Ch 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 or, uh, 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 Brother Matt was, uh, yeah. was definitely digging on some of the meat there. And I'm so. glad. You know, you guys got to get a second to take Thank a second and eat. You, you, you guys are going to yeah. be here pr producing, directing, <laughs> uh, corralling. So, so I gotta ask: could 
could you and have you done 24 hours of video games before? You know, I really thought about that. And what comes to mind first is what condition I was in when I did those games. You okay. Know? Okay. Was that on a night where I was depressed? Was that on a night when I was drinking? Was that on a night where I just was so involved? And I got to say that the only game I ever really did any amount of time on was Halo. Yeah. Yeah. The first one. When it first came out, I pretty much logged my life on that game and mm -hmm. just played and played and played and played. I, I liked it. When I got online, I liked killing other people. But I mean, that's it wasn't the same when I was a kid. There wasn't the, the longevity involved with like the the time you would give to a video game. You yeah. beat it, you were done, you moved on. You beat yeah. it, you moved on, you were done. You beat Bowser, you move on. You beat, uh, you, you save Zelda. Maybe there's a world too, but then, then exactly. that's it. Exactly, you, know? you just kept going until you beat something. Yeah. Yeah, now it's like it's it's replay. It's, it's Assassin's Creed collecting all those little stupid flags all over the place. You and know? there's no real end. I mean, no, it's just no. infinite. And yeah. it, you know, maybe that's a good thing where it lends itself to your ability to, to play forever and enjoy what you like to do. I mean, that's what was my thing with Halo. I really like meeting other people mm -hmm. and like playing against other people and killing other people. For me, though, I gotta say it started with with uh, Bond, Goldeneye. Oh, that for game sure. was amazing. Yeah, and, that, mean, was, and that was just split screen. How good were you at slaps when you would go on and fight somebody in slaps? I mean, you ultimately just angered the other person and smacked the heck out of them until they were done. Exactly, exactly. Well, to what level would you take it? But that's where it started. I, I, I enjoy video games now, but time doesn't lend itself like it used to. Yeah. And there's yeah. no fulfillment. Like, when you beat Mega Man, you beat Mega Man. That's it. You moved on and you waited for the next Mega Man. Yep, yep. At least they kept them coming on those ones. So, uh, of course, this is, this event's for we're doing you know charity for you know scholarship stuff for for arts programs for kids. Uh, what do you think about the importance of art? Well, I, I think you know a lot of people lose sight of the importance, and for me, it was more or less I want to give the opportunity that I had to a lot of other kids to play. Mm -hmm. I want to give the opportunities that I've had with education for a lot of other kids to learn. And I want to give the opportunity that I had to enjoy life to a lot of other people that haven't had that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So by any means that they see fit to, to move on, I want to help support that. Excellent, excellent. Um, we, we, you, li you like the setup? The new, we got a new place at Tunesium here. They've been great to us. They provide us with a big screen yeah, here. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, anything you think we should improve for next year? Uh, the only thing that's going to improve for next year is bring your A game when you come see Chachi. There you go. There I you mean, go. I mean, when you walk in, this kid, he's not messing around. Chachi, he's, he's, he's out there for blood. He's out there for real. He's played the games you played. I mean, <laughs> he's I been hate there. to tell you, you think you're good, but you bring you don't bring your A game that's polished. You're going you're gonna to feel some pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I brought a Tecmo Bowl game that I thought was substantial and appropriate, but I found out that it was inadequate and and below that of the standard. So bring your A games when you Excellent. see Josh. But have fun, most of all. Pick a game you like to you play. Get one close to your heart, like football. I mean, this is Pittsburgh, right? That's right. We love football. And you know all the crap to talk and all the players. Exactly. And I look up at the screen because it's big and it's it's remindful of what I just did that I, I couldn't do. So I don't know, guys. I had fun. Excellent. I Excellent. really do. Thanks for being here. Thanks, hey, for, Thanks for having me, guys. I and really appreciate can't wait it. And see you again next year. Chachi hey guys, Place, right there. Chachi Place for kids. Support it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. Let's update on the uh, the, the Tetris tournament. What, what, who are our top? Hi there. At the end of round one, we have four going on to the next round. The four highest scores were Will, Mr. DJ Lunchbox, um, Mr. Pittsburgh Drama Queen Chad, Rob of Rob Car Photo, and Abby of Abby Normal 84. <laughs> So congratulations to those four who are going on to round two. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. And we got uh, Dutters here. You just got finished. Uh, we were going back and forth here with the, between the Tetris tournament and you, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, w what was your game again? Uh, it was Royal Rumble, and it was also Road Rash 2. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so w why did you pick these games? I, I'm a big fan of the old school games. I'm a big fan of my Sega, of course. And... Um, who doesn't want to play a game better than Riz's? You, you, you might have the most well taken care of Genesis I think I've ever yeah. seen. That is a first, gen and it's shining from over here. I didn't get a close look at it. Mine definitely, mine was rough when I first got because I think it came from a dumpster. But 
<laughs> no, it's uh, it's in very good shape. I'll, I have all my systems. If you look at the bottom, it actually has the metal plate that slides into the I think the Sega CD. Yes, I have one of those too as well. <laughs> did we, we guys say while we're reminiscing some Sega? Did, did you have a 32X? No, I did not. Mm. Star Wars Arcade. That, if nothing else, if nothing else, <laughs> stay away from Primal Rage though. <laughs> So, um, excellent. So, how did it go? How did how how did you fare? Uh, well, first with the Royal Rumble. Oh, I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you pick? Uh, I was Razor Ramon. I was Shawn Michaels, and pretty much between those two, I think, and uh, Brett Michaels once. I'd say Brett Michaels. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> now you realize the chat room is full of a lot of the Mayhem Show guys who have been loving the Royal Rumble this last hour. I know. Charmy has a Charmy's a cat. <laughs> That came up a couple times too in the chat. He has a cat named Charmy with one M. <laughs> it's my default mode. How about Road Rash 2? How'd that go? Uh, much better. I'm much better at that game. Even though I look like I was driving all over the place, I hit two cars in a row, but I still managed to come back and beat Chachi once. All right, Chris just announced the uh, winners of the first round, I think, to the rest of the audience here. Oh. So, Charmy, there you go. Tender, tender 1982 in the chat. I, Charmin, I don't believe, placed in the top four. I don't think he did. I, I, I saw his game. It was rather weak. I was rather disappointed in his showing I, from what I heard and all the trash talk I'd a seen. Of, a lot of the Tetris analysts going into this tournament were pulling for Charmin as the uh, odds-on favorite. He was the favorite. I mean, the biggest hill in the game. Big disappointment. What can I say? There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> slam and sh- <laughs> I can't come out number one. I'm going to trash talk everybody along the way. Exactly, exactly. So uh, could, you, could could you or have you already uh, played 24 hours of video games like this? Could I? Depends how much caffeine I've had. Mm-hmm. And um, I've never done it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Of course, I'm sure I can do anything on enough caffeine. <laughs> Yeah, of course, we, uh, oh, we're starting some Tetris here. Um, we'll, we'll get it up here in a second. Uh, but uh, so, so, of course, you know, we're doing this whole thing all over the weekend for, uh, for uh, art scholarships and everything. So, so uh, you know, what, what are your thoughts on the importance of art? Oh, I think it's very important. I think it's, uh, it's a nice outlet for, um, a lot, for your cre- creativity. If you don't have something to put it out there and kind of complement the rest of, essentially the rest of your brain, if it's just all thinking and you don't have that side where you get to free your mind, I think you lose a lot with that. And, and I think art and music are one way, well, several, one of the several ways to express yourself. Excellent, excellent. And uh, well, we've uh, this is a hell of a move we did to Tunesium. It's been great here all night. Uh, we're I mean we're only what, five, four hours in so far. We're surrounded by all this art. The pe- there's a peanuts thing going on right now, uh-huh. which is tremendous. Uh, what, what do you look forward to us doing maybe next year? Ooh, I don't know how to take this to the next level. Um, I couldn't even imagine where you guys could take it. I mean, I I could see in maybe an arena of some sorts. Um, <laughs> Would fight to the death, or uh, I think that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice. <laughs> of course, why not? I mean, I, I could uh, work on my fighting skills, and we could see what happens next year. <laughs> we could have a real Royal Rumble. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's right. Was this Chachi plays belongs in a Tunesium? Yes. Uh, yes. I think this is an excellent place for a Chachi excellent, plays. Excellent. Mm-hmm. We'll see how this goes. Uh, as, I, as I said the other night, I was like, dude, we're doing a night in the Tunesium. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's, it's better than being stuck at a mall. I mean, that's done to death, TV-wise. I wouldn't even want to do a mall anymore. They're scary these days. Oh, my gosh, especially the ones around here. Yeah, exactly. Parkway Center Mall, represent. Oh, yes, yes. I remember we could go downstairs. Now I'm kind of worried what you would find down there. Down at Scary Eagle. <laughs> But you can sit at Little Caesar, so it does have that going for it. That's true. That's true. I spent a lot of time in that food court when I used to work up in one of those buildings. It's a very frightening place. I wouldn't suggest going there at night, especially not by yourself. Shout outs to Century 3 in the uh, chat room, by the way, by AJ. (laughs) Word to Monroeville. Yeah. (laughs) It's cavernous over there. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to get into the Tetris tournament and see what's going on here. Can I mock people from here? Can I? I? You want to call it for a bit? Because LB is going to go up here. Um, Who's up here next? I'm not in there. I don't know why. What was your game with Chachi? Uh, Mortal Kombat 9. I haven't played. 9? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know the number? <laughs> well, so you don't confuse it with the first one because they're both called Mortal Kombat. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So why'd you pick that game? Uh, because Forza was refusing to work, and I brought that as a backup. <laughs> good call, good call, <laughs> exactly. I don't, those are my questions. So, um, I guess, uh, first of all, w- would you, and have you, but have you already, uh, played 24 hours of games like this? 
No. Um, most was maybe six or seven. Um, actually, whenever Mortal Kombat came out, uh, I was almost late to Abby's sister's wedding with her cousin because we just got up and we started at seven and just started playing. The, we left for the wedding that was at three at about one thirty. So, cutting it a little close, but it worked out. Excellent. Excellent. Do you think it could go 24 hours? I don't know. That That's tough. I, I don't know that I could do that. <laughs> so, of course, all the, the awards are getting presented here. Uh, somebody get pictures. Oh, wait, yeah. uh, real quick, it looks like they're going to boot up for the last part of the, 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 the tournament here with Chachi. Well, real quick. Um, so, uh, what do you think about the importance of arts? Of course, you know, with everything we're doing here for the charity. Oh, with arts, it's that's tremendous. That's a huge thing. I know. Whenever I was a kid, I I went to uh, art schools in the summer, and it was just just tremendous for uh, helping me. And like that, it just lets kids be creative, and that's what makes kids like really grow up to be like something special. Pictures are being taken. Uh, what do you think about the setup this year? What do you think we need to do for next year to make it even bigger? Um, a little bit better resolution on the Tetris screen, but other than that, I think it's great. I added challenge to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the dirt on the track. Come on. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us this year. Thank you. Uh, but you won the, uh, the Tetris tournament and went on to play Chachi. So how was it round around there? I was very nervous. <laughs> I was, um, I don't know, it was just tense for me. I never win anything, so it was very exciting. Were you worried when DJ Lunchbox pulled out the secret weapon headphones in that last round? No. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit. He was getting in the zone. <laughs> but I wasn't concerned too much. I mean, kind of. Who are you concerned with going into this one? Everybody. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't played in years. I really haven't <laughs> played in years. I don't have it at home. So, um. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, would, would you do 24 hours of Tetris? Perhaps I would. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'd be too tired. <laughs> excellent. So, where is this trophy going to go in your house? Frank? Uh, right next to the giant painting that I got for War Sangria. Probably not. That would go on my. <laughs> We'll have to find room in the house for this awesome. Look, it's huge. Look at that thing. Awesome. I don't ever win trophies. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. I can see the glue a little bit. You can't tell anybody that. Is that Elmer's? He did a great job. Excellent. I'm proud of my, um, my trophy. Excellent. Actually, thank you. And, and congratulations. Thank you. thank you so much. All right, DJ Lunchbox, you have, uh, even though we've talked to you for several hours tonight, it feels like, uh, you have just completed your official, official, official time slot. But first, let's touch on that Tetris tournament that you were involved with earlier. You went all the way to the finals. You you pulled out the secret weapon. It, uh, no, it wasn't secret weapon. I As soon as I saw Abby play the first round, I knew I had no chance whatsoever. So, and then that second round. And also that second round. <laughs> only about seven and a half minutes of ten. No, that, that, that last round I just figured, you know, I just want to enjoy myself. <laughs> so I put in some headphones, like I usually do when I play Tetris, and just relaxed and went to town. And by the way, I just noticed the chat room exploding over the anime conversation we were having earlier. Um, whoops. Okay. Oh, Bobby. Bobby's, Bobby's on an anime kick. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, so, so you came in second place. You got you. You were calling yourself to show. That's true. You I placed. Said, I said show, and I did place. I got second place with this awesome trophy, and I'm gonna go home and uh, put it right on my mantle. Right, Excellent. Right next to my uh, tauntaun and my rancor. You're gonna put it in the background, or maybe the foreground uh, oh, during the wrestling mayhem show. That seems likely. Yeah, that's very likely. <laughs> oh, this nice trophy over here. Yeah, check out this trophy. So you uh, you just played. What'd you play with Chachi? Uh, well, we played some Katamari Damashi, which is quite. It was We Love Katamari. It's the Xbox 360 version. It was great. Uh, and then we played some Pocket Racers, which was Chachi's choice, um, which he beat me at soundly. So Scott Sweep's uh, donation went to good use. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. This is uh, this is fantastic. It's a it's a great event. Um, I mean, we've been talking about it for months and. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, have you gone 24 hours on a game before? 
I have not for a very very long time I think the last time I did 24 hours on a game was Final Fantasy 7 to be honest and not the first playthrough yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent um, hey, you think you're going to do that again someday um, nothing that's out right now is really you know grip me around the middle um, I uh, the last games I did marathon sessions on and beat relatively quickly were Assassin's Creed Revelations and Arkham City and they were worth it, but yeah. I have been playing some Market Asylum, and I need to get that finished off. Usually, I get caught up for like four hours at a time on that one. Arkham Arkham City's longer. Uh, it's it's just as good. They they made a really good game, and um, much to my disappointment, I found out their well, I heard their follow up game was going to be a Ninja Turtles game. That's not the case now. Oh, that's, that's a shame. That's a shame. That 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 needs a good treatment, you know. Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, oh God! Could you imagine the, the Arkham City people getting on? Wow! Wow! That just blew my mind. That'd be awesome. That's, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, I, Bobby, Bobby does point out Skyrim. I didn't really do any marathon sessions on Skyrim, uh, and uh, just a lot of it. Just a lot of it, yeah. And you know, some long, long Call of Duty uh, stretches as well. But that's because of Bobby mainly. Of course. <laughs> gotta go to bed and he's like no one more game one more game just wait till we get to oh, it's horrible with that with call of duty horrible with that um so um you know, of course you know we're, we're supporting the arts you know for kids and everything here uh what, what are your thoughts on on the importance of arts out there wait on one what the importance of arts for kids i think it is a problem it is the most important thing i did go to art school and uh you know I've seen I've seen good art programs I've seen bad art programs but it is really important um, to you know nobody questions teaching kids math and the fact that people question teaching kids arts is completely ridiculous so I think you know you need a balanced um, uh, education I'm sorry it's, it's very it's late. very late it is very late it's uh, what is it about 156 according to the according to the wirecast computer over here yeah but uh, I think uh, it's it's paramount to have a good uh, a good background in the arts if anything else so people will stop designing ugly ugly shit <laughs> 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 tremendous, tremendous. Uh, so, I mean, you, you're here. You're I hung out for a while here tonight. Uh, what do you think? What, what, what do you need to do? What do you think about the, the move here to Toon Z? It was a great location here, I think. And uh, what do you think we need to do uh, next year? Make it even bigger. Um, I think uh, I think this is a hell of a step up from MIB. I mean, they were good, and I patronized them quite often. I actually got this phone from them. Um, but this is, I think, this is a much more fitting environment. Um, I don't know. Maybe a longer marathon. Maybe bring in some uh, some people to tag in and tag out. Maybe do uh, a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So I think that's so. With the the forty eight hour uh, Chachi plays next year. Yeah, double the double the length and double the goal. Maybe we can raise uh, even double the money yeah. next time. Excellent. Thanks a lot. You bet. So uh, we are here with Tom. The oh, what time is it? You are the two a.m. And uh, did you you pick the game? Yeah, I picked the game. Well, you, it was like mutually decided because I saw that uh, Chick Chris had uh, Modern Warfare Three, and I figured, wow, that'd be great. I think there's a lot of that going to be played over the next several yeah, hours. I there, enjoy it. It's yeah, they really did something with it this this time around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so 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 why did why did you guys pick mutually pick Modern Warfare then? Uh, we both knew it. We both knew the weapons. Uh, it was a split screen, so it, it was an easy pick. And you're playing the survival mode for the most part. Yeah, we were playing survival mode. I haven't gotten into that too much. Uh, I do it a lot solo, mm-hmm. and uh, I've gone through all the levels from easy to insane, and it's I enjoy it. I enjoy the uh, the skill that's involved with it. Awesome. I know that's been a big thing for us. Like I, I hadn't gotten into modern, uh, Call of Duty much, and then I heard all the buzz, and like saw how many of my Twitter friends said, "I got it today. I got it today. I got it today." I ended up ordering it like within a week after it came out. Yeah, I got uh, I got Modern Warfare three, and I picked up Battlefield three, which is also awesome too. Yeah, somebody was uh, trying to sell Chachi on it, like on uh, I think like on Twitter or something the other day. So I asked a little bit of it where you get into planes and stuff. So Right, it's more it's more group based, it's more clan based. Yeah. Where Modern Warfare three is uh, you can you can go in solo. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you have to basically you won't be effective unless you're a clan set up in Battlefield three. I don't think my friends are that organized. 
Mine aren't either. Yeah, exactly. I just go in and die. That's the fun of it. <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. So, um, so uh, I, I, I have questions here. I was like, oh, you got your game. And um, so have you, uh, have you ever uh, played for 24 hours or you think you can? Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, Extra Life. Uh, two years ago, I played two years in a row two years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, Extra Life is the... What? I hate to interrupt, but there's a full-on rave going away, going on less than a block away that you can hear. Perfectly. I, yeah, I heard some crazy stuff when I stepped outside. What are you? What's this? Awesome. In the middle of our interview. <laughs> anyway, sorry, the extra life. Yeah, ex- extra life is held once a year, like October. Uh, gamers from all over the world, and they raised, I think this last year was over $150,000. Mm-hmm. So gamers doing this is an amazing thing. We you know, Gamers contribute to the common cause. They do it for the children. Like, I believe it's the uh, Children's Miracle Network. Excellent. And uh, Chachi doing this for art is absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. No matter what kind of art, whether it's photography to oils to watercolors it helps kids with their creativity imaginations uh, that's where the our architects are going to come from that's where a lot of our uh, more creative thinkers are going to come from art and that, it's an amazing thing and now uh, you know, we moved over here to Toon ZM from MIB Ninja uh, it's been it's been tremendous so far people seem to like it what do we do next year to, to step up again Actually, this is a perfect perfect venue for this. Why, and as for stepping up, the, follow Chachi because he's going. He's going that way. Mm-hmm. Chachi's becoming a Pittsburgh institution, if not already a legend. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having. And thank you for your contribution. Uh, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, we are. Uh, well, like, what, what time is it? It's 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 four to four. And uh, wait, first, did you did you pick this time, or was it like what was left? Well, I I did pick it. I figured they'd uh, be low demand for these hours, so I volunteered to put myself on the line. I guess it's nice. We only have like two hours, like after this, without anybody. Where I think we had like four last year. Yeah, that looked uh, pretty good. It, it, it helps. It definitely helps us get through. So see other faces around here. So uh, what you get? What you guys play? Halo Reach. Was that your pick? Yeah. Why would you pick that one? Well, uh, a guy at work used to talk about it a lot. Uh, he actually set it up on our big projector in the oh, conference yeah. room. But I, I wasn't around to, to play, but uh figured why not. Awesome, awesome. So have you, or, or, or you, do you think you could, if you haven't yet, uh, uh, go 24 hours on a video game? Oh, boy. I bet I could. <laughs> uh, well... Now that I'm a little older, probably probably be a little tougher, but I could probably do it. What do you think you'd want to take a crack at for something like that? <sighs> I have no idea. I could play World of Warcraft for 24 hours. No, I think a lot of people do days, yeah. even. You know, I, I think I think there's been some medical issues over that. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> So, um, so of course, you know, we're doing we're doing this for the arts for for kids and everything, and it's a you know big thing. We're just getting cut and everything. You know, I, why do you think arts are important? Well, I think it gives kids an outlet for you know the frustrations that we all deal with, especially when you're younger. So, and anything that keeps them busy, this is a great thing. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything we got our uh, new space here at Toon ZM? They've been great to us. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, looking for our next year, what do you think we should do for next year to uh, uh, you know do even better? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for staying up late with us. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, I'm here with Joe Waz here at the Toon ZM. We're early, early, early in the morning. We, we, it's uh, it's 7 a.m. We're at the halfway point here. Uh, we're almost there. <sighs> I got to tell you, it, it, it's feeling a little better than at this point last year. I think we know what's ahead of us and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's got to be a good feeling uh, to know that you've you've made it through that that first twelve hours. Uh, everybody's still alive. Everybody's still you know uh, got their caffeine, so uh, doesn't look like there's any shortages to worry about. 
Uh, bathrooms well stocked, you know, uh, batteries seem charged on the Wii. Uh, so it, it seems like it, smooth sailing ahead. Let's fingers crossed, smooth sailing here at the Tunesium. Outside, I can't promise with the weather and the snow, but here, smooth sailing. So, um, it was their first time here at, at Tunesium for, for this event. Uh, what did you think when, when uh, Chachi came to you to propose this? Oh, as soon as Chachi came to us, he said yes. I mean, there, 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 was, there was no thought process. <laughs> it was just, uh, he said, hey, I want to come and play ga- games 24 hours as a fundraiser for charity. And I said, uh, yeah, of course. I loved it. So uh, he, uh, he picked us, of course, as one of the charities. Uh, the Tunesium is a nonprofit. We have a lot of programs for kids. And then um, he asked uh, us to suggest another one. And uh, uh, right away, we thought of the Father Ryan Art Center, which does a lot of great work in uh, McKee's Rocks. Which uh, is uh, unfortunately an area that I think uh, we forget. There's a lot of kids there who can uh, really use the arts programming. So, uh, so yeah, it was a no-brainer. Let it happen. <laughs> and a great environment. Now you've uh, you, you've got to be here through like you know again the first half of this, especially like Friday night. We usually get a lot of people in. We had our first Tetris tournament and everything. Yeah. Uh, what did you think about the the shenanigans around around you know what, what Chachi's doing here? Well, I, as I said uh, uh, last evening, uh, you know we do a lot of events here, uh, and we're a cartoon and comic book museum, so um, we we have some pretty geeky things happen here. Uh, last night was by far the the geekiest event we've ever had though uh it was uh, truly a, um a proud moment and what, what what was the uh, the geekiest thing you saw out of the whole ordeal I, I i think the whole thing overall was pretty geeky uh chachi in his mario pajamas playing video games in front of uh, artwork from mad magazines a pretty darn geeky thing but they definitely kicked the quotient up um when they brought in the accordion player to play the theme from tetris i think that <laughs> really pretty much that put her over the top yes yes he's serenading his girlfriend i believe (laughs) oh fiance i think well uh, whatever works for him (laughs) Whatever gets her through, and and the Tetris trophies were amazing. Yeah, the Tetris trophies were were just amazing. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to see how many are on eBay already. So, uh, but the, no, they're beautiful, and I uh, I know everybody was very proud of their accomplishments. Excellent, excellent. Are, are you a big game player yourself? Um, I am, but it, it usually it it's usually for a very special game will come along. And I'm like, okay, have to be in on that one. Uh, I love the Lego series. Uh, you know, the India Jones, the Star Wars, the Batman. I love that series. And uh, I was very excited um, uh, when Epic Mickey uh, came out. Uh, and that was probably my last Epic Game session, too, because I just wouldn't quit until I beat it. You ever go almost 24 hours on one of these? Epic Mickey. Uh, <laughs> was was pretty darn close. Um, the first one I ever went 24 hours, though, um, on Christmas Day, 1970, whatever, uh, I was probably about uh, 70, 77, 79. Um, we got an Atari for Christmas, and um, and my dad had to set it up, you know, the night before. And I'm up in bed, and I hear, you know, something happening downstairs. I hear all this noise, and uh, you know, ah, this is weird. You know, I hear your 70 Sam going. I come down and my dad is playing our Christmas present, Atari. So I, he said, Well, move over, let me play. And so we sat there from uh, about probably uh, 11 p.m. at night all the way through to Christmas morning uh, playing the Atari. And then Christmas morning, you know, open the rest of the presents, then back over the Atari. Uh, it was such a new thing. Yeah. You know, this is, this is, you know, there were no video games in the home, um, you know, so it was uh, really exciting, and Adventure was the first game. Do you remember Adventure? No, like, like well, I, I didn't have an Atari. We uh, we got into it in my oh, household yeah. about Nintendo age, yeah. NES, yeah, you know, okay, right. but uh, wasn't that the one where, like, there was a key on the screen, and you There's had to get... a key, get, uh, and a sword, a dragon, a bat, Adventure? and a square, <laughs> and it took at least two weeks to beat this game. I got downloaded a, a, a port of it on my, my phone. It, it took like three seconds. I don't know what was so difficult. We, we've evolved as gamers. We have the games that were so difficult, so time consuming, and took so much of our lives. We're never getting those back. We're just technically, I, I, well, I've been playing a little bit here, just keeping the spear and keeping the things yeah. and keep myself awake. Uh, Sonic CD, which you had to buy the Sega 
CD add-on the CD which was such a great you couldn't fit this on a cartridge yeah, no, thing was, and now it's on my iPad and iPhone yes yeah it's it's an app yeah. um, the games that we thought the, the graphics were cool I mean it, it was the you know in the beginning there was you know the the Sears Pong you know and Radio Shack Pong and you know that begat um, you know uh, Atari you know an Atari 2600 and Atari 7800 and then I remember the first kid on our block to have a ColecoVision. <laughs> ColecoVision was it, because ColecoVision, man, the graphics for Donkey Kong were this close to being like the arcade, mm-hmm. um, which still, by today's standards, it was awful. Uh, ColecoVision was great, and you had the little pad you had to slide in, because so you had a number keypad and this really weird joystick. Was there a dog in the middle of the keypad, usually? Oh, boy, uh, yeah, there would be, I, I, it was just bizarre. I, I remember you swap them out. I, re- I remember playing uh, Smurfs and Ladybug on my cousins. Yes, yeah, Smurfs. I loved Smurfs, by the way. And then uh, so so there was you know Intellivision and ColecoVision and Atari, and, and then there were these really sad ones that that you you really had. Hot. Turbo Graphics is so underappreciated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Slaughterhouse was an amazing uh, graphically. You know, violent game. It was beautiful. Which I think may also be available on the iPhone, if I'm not mistaken. It probably is now, but when that came out, it was, you know, people were up in arms over the the graphics. It was was really the first really graphic, the first NC-17 game. Um, And the whole system just didn't work out because I I bought one and I bought the five games, you know, that they had for it and then it was gone. They have a devastating pinball game or something. Yeah, they had all kinds of crazy. That was it was actually a good Bonk's system. adventure. Bonk's adventure was the main. I bought a couple of those on my Wii when they started doing the virtual console stuff. Yeah. I was like, I got Bonk. I always wanted to play Bonk. I was like, oh, this is Bonk. Okay, it's adventure. Yeah. So, so love the you know love those systems, and then you know making that jump to Nintendo was the one that really changed it all. Um, and I look at those Nintendo graphics, and now, and I go, come on. And I, I mean, I really thought that was as far as we were going to go. Especially now we're playing, like, pro wrestling yeah, and Tetris on a 42-inch television. Yeah, you you realize now, looking at this, that, um, um, you know, my grandfather used to tell me something. He said, um, you know, people always talk about the old days and, and how much smarter we were and just how much, you know, his generation, that World War II generation, you know, the greatest generation, how, how smart and brilliant they were. And he says, I want you to keep in mind that the most popular radio show um, during his generation, the most popular thing on radio, was Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, a ventriloquist. So they couldn't have possibly been that smart if a ventriloquist was the most popular radio show. Um, <laughs> Because they would sit there listening to Vendrilogos. So I look back now at, um, you know, Nintendo, and I go, we could have possibly have really had that well-defined sense of, you know, artistic integrity. When we look at that and we say, oh, this is the most amazing graphics. They'll never improve upon us. We really did. We thought, they're not going to improve upon this. This is as far as we can go. So it's, it's, it's an amazing ride when you look at the history of gaming. It's just, uh, and, and the art. Um, and now it's it's filmmaking. You know, gaming is filmmaking where where you're in control of the the character's destiny. So it's it's uh, it's a remarkable thing. Excellent, excellent. So we've been asking people like uh, you know this is it has been a huge upgrade I think for us for doing this event here. I think it's been great space, great atmosphere. I think it's been perfect. It, it, you guys have been great and accommodating. So uh, what do we need to do for next year to step this up? to the next level you think i'm thinking two couches two couches yeah yeah we had one couch so so next year another couch two couches i think would definitely take it uh, up a notch okay excellent it's a great couch to begin with so <laughs> it's a great gamer's couch yes it is absolutely. yes it is so well thank you very much uh hey, what's coming up with the tunesium for people to check out here oh amazing zip coming up so we have right now funky turns 40 which is african-american characters and animation that runs through uh, mid-march but opening up at the beginning of march uh march 6 on will eisner's 95th birthday we have an exhibition called will eisner's new york so this is the you know the the father of the modern graphic novel um beautiful artwork if you're a comic book fan if you're not a comic book fan if you're a fan of great storytelling you must see this exhibit just beautiful remarkable art excellent excellent everybody check it out tunesium.org that's it excellent thank, thank you very much thank you
There. So we are here with Chris. Hi. You, you know, we talked to you earlier. Yes. Yes. Uh, but you just what, what time is it? Is it? It's eight o'clock. You had the you had the halfway point slot. Yes, I did. And what game did you play? I played um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Yes. So um, you were saying that you don't play video games? Uh, I had an original Nintendo. I was pretty good at Duck Hunt. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much the last video game. My parents have a Wii. I'm pretty good at ping pong. But beyond that, yeah, no. So nothing with an actual controller? Can, like, no. like regular with the directional pad and no. like normal? No, and I really struggled with that. I had to make Chachi like reverse my up and down thing because I am a pilot and it didn't make sense to me that, yeah. So what, what did you think of that experience? I loved it. I really like shooting things. I mean, I like shooting things in real life, and now I like shooting things with a controller. Awesome, awesome. Um, I forget the rest of my questions. It's it's way too long. Um, so, have I don't know, you know there's a shooting games, but have you uh, played any games for a super extended uh, amount of time, and do you think you could go the distance on 24 hours? Uh, no, I had to go home for a nap. I can't. <laughs> I can't handle 24. You couldn't even hang out for 24 hours. No, no, no. <laughs> couldn't even do that. So no, power to Chachi for that. Awesome. Of course, uh, we're doing this, you know, for the arts and everything. You know, what do you think about how important the arts are? They're very important. I was um, really involved in the arts when I was a young person, and look how well I turned out. So um, I really think this is a great cause. Sorry, coffee service in the middle coffee of this service. so oh we're we're finishing it off i see so um excellent very excellent important. so um so what do you think we should do to, to to step it up next year here um you're gonna need fireworks <laughs> definitely I, I think that's the only thing that can make this better right now you know what we're downtown pittsburgh and there's so many fireworks usually going off uh throughout the season anyways nobody will notice if we just shoot some off from in front of the museum here that's exactly no. what I, yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, exactly. Totally. I mean, guy, we had an accordion last night, so we did, and he didn't play Freebird for me. <sighs> if he comes back in, you're gonna have, you gotta tweet him. You're like, "Where's my Freebird?" I'm going to. I, I intend to. You got some Freebird uh, a couple of times for us here. So not here, but uh, yeah, on some podcast. other venues. Podcast, yeah, because I like to. That's my request. And I guess we'll just have to play Freebird on Rock Band. Oh, now we're going to have to... No. No. No, no it's going to ask us three times to play. If, if, do you really want to play Freebird? Really? Wow. So, but thank you. And thank you for helping with the Tetris tournament. That was, I think, it went smoothly. I think it did go smoothly. I was happy to help. Uh, I like to have a clipboard and be in control of things. So we, we definitely stepped up on multitasking this year. So, I mean, we're doing the, the, the interviews. We had a tournament while Chachi was playing with other people. So maximizing that. Maybe we'll have, like, other tournaments during the rest of the time to occupy. Um, but, yeah, that was great. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. So what what you you just got done playing with Chachi? What game did you play? We played um, Super Mario Bros. New. Mm -hmm. The new. I he whenever he got onto a Yoshi, he ate me. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm I and I never got a chance to eat him, and he always and he sometimes he pushed me off the edge, and. Every time I was trying to, I thought I forgot that I did that lost the power up, and I would hit the A button, which launches the power up, and I would get into the bu bubble, and he would start yelling, and so would I. He started yelling. Yes. So I mean, so you, you you didn't get along with Chachi, you're, t you're telling me. Yes, when we were playing. When we were playing. Just when you were playing. Uh, are you telling me off the field that he's uh, he, he's he's fine to deal with? Yes. 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 So, um, I don't think you you didn't pick Super Mario, did you? No, Brian did. Brian did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that he picked Super Mario against Chachi? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> so, um, have you ever played video games for twenty four hours? Um, no, I haven't. But I played for for several hours from um like. Hmm, let's see, like seven hours. Okay, okay, that's a good start. Do you think you could go seven? Or, I'm sorry, 24 hours. Yes. What game would you think you'd, you'd play for 24 hours? A Medal of Honor European Assault. What? <laughs> 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 wow. 
It's my favorite game. Wow, do you play that online? Um, no, it's for the PlayStation 2. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Good old school game. Um, do you do you have? Do you, are you taking art class in school? Um. Well, n- no, we don't. Um. But we do have a lot of other classes that most schools don't have. We have Russian. What? Well, that's awesome. I go to Waldorf. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have strings, um, and I'm playing the violin and strings, um. Can you say something in Russian? Eto moi kostum. That means, this is my suit in Russian. (laughs) Awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is Russian. <laughs> I haven't learned it, but I know it's Russian. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So what do you think we need to do for next year to make this an even better event? Um, I do not really know. You know what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? What do you think? Get Jachi back there. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me who said it. Th- <laughs> it was him. Thank, thank you for playing. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we're rolling, AJ. You uh, you stopped in today for Chachi plays. Well, you we had a little difficult. What was what was your first game you were going to play there? We were supposed to play Double Dragon. Uh, Chachi chose that game as we beat uh, Contra last year, so we decided to do Double Dragon this year. And uh, we realized that Double Dragon 1 doesn't have a two-player co-op mode very early on. One-on-one. You did a little one-on-one. We did one-on-one, which was odd because it's like a early eight or like a mid-80s fight or late 80s fighting game. I just went an entire decade and just to pick that up somewhere. Uh, and they, we, we, I suck at fighting in Double Dragon, but Chachi beat me at that. And then we... Then we tried playing this, this, uh, the single or the co-op mode, and it didn't work, so we switched over to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Excellent. Excellent. How did you guys do? Uh, I think we're about halfway through. Uh, we're out of continues, and I have two guys left. <laughs> awesome. Are you going to keep playing after this? You completely can, can if you want I to. May, I may clean up. I may have to clean up. Get through, get through that techno drone there. So, um, so, 24 hours. Have you played 24 hours of a game before? Uh, I've probably played 15 or 18 hours. I don't know if I've gone a full 24. Uh, we, when I was a kid, we played uh, Goldeneye until it was like 7 in the morning once. That was fun. You think you could go 24? Yeah, I probably could go 24. I think I could. Excellent, excellent. And, of course, if we can, we're, uh, we're helping uh, kids in the arts and everything. Uh, we, you know, how are arts important to you? Uh, the arts are important to me. Uh, this is a, a, a great place. Toonsium is a great place. You guys should come down and check it out. Uh, it would be it, it. This is where kids get ideas. This is where you start to figure out things. This is where uh, you kind of learn about uh, you know the art as a as as a whole and how art is not just pictures or photography or video that you have music and performances and all that other stuff that and and art is what allows you to be creative because a lot of people don't get that opportunity to do that for most of their life so art is that release so awesome i you know first time in tunes i I think a huge upgrade since last year what do you think we need to do uh, to improve uh to make it bigger next year i've brought this up to you and chachi and i think we need to do it next year i think next year we have to have teams and we do the team challenge, where you have like three on each team, and there is a set of games or a set of challenges, and like the winning team gets a trophy and bragging rights. I think that would be fun. 
you know, well, we did the Tetris tournament last night. That was kind of like the new. I, I think that was simpler to manage because yes. it was Tetris versus like this whole like Call of Duty something. Yeah. You know, uh, but but I think I, I see I see an opening for us maybe doing like more things like doing a Tetris, maybe doing a Call of Duty like segment and stuff. Because like you know today we don't have like anything happening on the side for people, you know, other than just watching Chachi play. So I, I think that would be really good to kind of like you know at least entertain people that are coming down here and. You know, stick some money in that donation jar. Well, I, I think it would be fun to see, like, uh, to expand Chachi plays so there's, like, a you have to play, you have to do Tetris, you have to do Call of Duty, and then you have to play, like, Monopoly and bring board games into it or something like that. I'm throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there. Hey, battle, Battlefield, or Battleship's going to be all the rage, so, you know. Battleship would be fun. Uh, Connect 4. There you go. There you go. Oh. What's going on? Now we have to go to WrestleMania. Are we going to WrestleMania? We there you go. Oh, they're pointing at the sign. I see. I see. They pointed at the sign. That means we have to go. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> You're going down. <laughs> You're like this. You're just going to do it like this? Like you're like, it's like a, it's kind of like a shirt snuggy thing going on here. Riz is with us. Uh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm going to get my haircut suit. I'm going to just use this as a, as the cover, you know. But yeah, <laughs> and done with that. So you just played WWE 12, uh, not our first wrestling game of the of the 24 hours. I did better than Dutters. I did. But it, well, like, that's without saying. Yeah, and uh, I heard she was she has said something to me personally when she was here. So, you know, I did better than you. What's up? What's up, Dutters? What's up? What's up? What's up? Get some. <laughs> Excellent. So how did it go? Who won? Husky Harris won, and I was Chachi's guy. I don't know how he won, or it, it was probably one of the worst Royal Rumbles in history. But um, it was really fun to play, though. I was Dolph Ziggler at the last minute, but I was almost there. You got Santino in there, and Santino. Santino was the, was the final three, so that's a pretty good showing by him. Uh, but one of the weird things that happened was that at the cutscene, I was already in the ring. But at the cutscene, I was running to them. So I don't know how that happened. Whoops. Yeah. Little, little screw up there. Excellent, excellent. Why'd you pick that game? Um, well. Because heard, you, you heard Dutters had a Royal Rumble? Yes. But no, I, I picked that before Dutters picked the Royal Rumble. But uh, the reason why I picked that was we had, a f we, had a, we have common interests, you know, yeah. video games uh, and wrestling. So I just said, oh, why not? You know, what the hell? Heck. Awesome, awesome. Have you gone 24 hours on a game before? The closest I have was probably Ocarina of Time. Oh. I've spent many of hours playing that, but I have not go gone 24 straight. Would I? <laughs> uh, depends. Could you, could, you, could you make it? Could you go to distance? I, I, I made it before. Yep. I made it before, but not playing video games, but I could probably do it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I think this is the 19th hour we're going into. We're in the 19th, now I can count. Now that you can count, yes. So, um, of course, you know, we're supporting art and everything here. Uh, what are your thoughts on art? Oh, on art? Um, like, I, I know that m many of the art teachers that I've grown up, grown up with uh, are really, really trying to push art to their students. Yeah. And it's really important to get that out and seeing that there's not that many uh, schools with art schools or art classes it's really good like the like for father ryan father ryan right father ryan art center and the museum and the museum are doing something to help get the arts going back up in pittsburgh it's a great awareness people are coming down checking out the museum and seeing you know what is considered art i mean people up you know we're yeah. surrounded by peanuts cartoons from mag magazine here uh there's great stuff you know with with you know he-man in the other room and uh you know looney tunes a bit around here it's, it's, it's great Oh yeah, it's nice. I like like this is my first time here. I'm probably gonna walk around a little bit, you know. But yeah, it's good. Excellent, excellent. What do you think we need to do to step up for next year for Chachi Plays Three? Chachi Plays Three. Huh. Uh, let's see. What can we do? <laughs> Maybe. There's nothing really you can do. You know, get, just keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is good. This is a good pace. Yeah. This is a good pace. Good pace right now. Excellent. Thanks a lot for joining no us. I know, I just forget what my first question is. I don't know what your first question is. <laughs> what did I play? How many Super times Mario have I done Brothers. this? <laughs> I played 
Super Mario Brothers. So you, pick, you pick Super Super Mario. Why did you pick? And you got a T-shirt. What? Did, why did you pick Super Mario Brothers? Um, I picked Super Mario Brothers because uh, when I was growing up, that was a video game to play, and I was not allowed to have video games in my house. And so I could only play it when I went to my friend's house, and I was not good at it because I don't have any hand-eye coordination. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, if you had your video games, you might have developed some, right? I might have developed some. I blame my parents fully. <laughs> That's good. At least we've come to grips. Um, so how'd you do? They, uh, Chachi was teaching you? He was teaching me how to play Super Mario Brothers, and I did pretty well. I got to the second level, which is further than I've ever gotten before. Did you get to, did you get to the, uh, the, the water level? Uh, I, I got to the water level, but I didn't get to swim on my own character. I swam on Chachi's character. How did that relate to real swimming? I don't know. No. 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 It doesn't, it doesn't relate at all. Uh, so I know you haven't played much for video games, but you, do you think you could play a video game for 24 hours or uh, games? <sighs> no, probably not. No. I can't do very many things for 24 hours. Attention span? No, just because I like to sleep. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, I don't want to be awake for 24 hours. <laughs> Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on art? Of course, you know we're, we're supporting the arts here this weekend. Oh, I think this is fantastic. I made a bet with Chachi on Twitter, um, not thinking that it would come true, but that if it did come true, then at least I was giving my money to a good cause. Um, so, a hundred dollars for the arts—that's fantastic. Um, it meant that the Steelers lost, also, which is good for me. Bad for everyone in Pittsburgh, but good for me. Um, so. But the kids win. The kids win. That's the most important part. Yeah, I'm really excited that I got to donate to a good cause and that it goes to Tunesium, which I haven't been to before. So when I'm done with my interview, I'm going to go check it out. I'm really excited. Excellent. Excellent. We're growing. First time at Tunesium here. What do you think we should do next year to, to help get bigger? Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that the Tunesium was advertising on their Twitter until today mm -hmm. when I looked at their Twitter because I don't follow it. Um, so maybe if there was more of a tie-in to know how it was being promoted across all the channels, mm -hmm. that might be. We'll coordinate. Well, it's first crack out. We'll coordinate better next year. Yeah, I'm sure. It, everything is uh, easy to improve upon, exactly. right? No one's perfect. Nothing exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for contributing in your thank time. You. And everything. Thank you. Enjoy we are live right now. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Good start. Good start. All right. What did you play uh, with Chachi this hour? New carnival games. Okay, for the week. Mm -hmm. Why did you pick that game? Because it was a two-player game. I found the fastest. <laughs> so no, no other uh, strategy considered there. It's fun too. Are you good at that game? Mm -hmm. How did uh, how did Chachi fare against you? Um, we were pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Did, you, uh, did he beat you? I wasn't counting. Okay. <laughs> um, you you got him. You got him to you you got him doing some pretty funny stuff with the Wii mount. Yes. So, <laughs> are you, are you an expert at, at at Wii games? No. No. <laughs> Now, are you now, Chachi? Uh, uh, he's been often very against moving in his video games, like Connect, Wii stuff, Wii Sports. You know, what I mean, are, are you are you a fan of that? Do you do you like more of the moving, or you just want to sit down there with a the controller and and just do your thing? I'd say both. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. So, is it, do you gravitate towards one or, or the other more? Um. What? Do, do you do you do you like one or the other more? No, I like them like evenly. Well, that's nice. A nice, nice mix. You know, there's not all one or the other. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, have you gone 24 hours gaming before? Um, played it or like did it? Played for 24 hours straight or anything? No, not played for 24 hours. Do you think you could pull it off? No. No. What do you think? What do you think of Chachi doing this? He will be very tired and sleep for 24 hours <laughs> yes has to even out right <laughs> excellent excellent so we're doing this for art this year um do you you have our class in school right now mm, no we're on the second semester oh but you do have it like yeah. like around rotating do you like our class is it did, did you get get a bit, a bit out of it it's over but i did excellent excellent awesome uh what do you think we should do for next year to make this even bigger um 
don't know. That's okay. <laughs> what do you think of the museum here for uh, for our uh, hanging out spot here? It looks skinny, but like what? It looks skinny, like that, yeah. but not like um. But it's big. Like not cramped. It's not cramped because there's so much space from there to there. What do you think about all the stuff they like? They got they got a, a Charlie Brown exhibit going on right now. Charlie Brown exhibit. Whoa. <laughs> You're too busy playing video games. You didn't even notice, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wow. It's a lot. Do you think they do a uh, museum about cartoons like this? Well, we're in one right now. There you go. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. And I hope to see you again next year. Mm -hmm. All right. Mr. At Panzer, At Panzer on on the Twitters. And it's, it's always neat talking to Twitter people. Because it's always neat talking to Twitter people because it's like we have superhero names. Yes. Yeah, we have our regular names and we have superhero names. You just got done playing some uh, with Mario 64, right? Yeah, it was it was Mario 64. We played some uh, uh, really horrible racing, and then uh, Chachi just beat me senseless in the battle royal. So well, well not so much luck finding the two player racing games on the uh, Nintendo, unfortunately. No, it's it's like that's one of the great things about the new systems is like there's a lot more cooperative stuff out there. What well, well, did they can't hear you? We, I have the microphone, and you don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, so, so how did it go? It went horribly. Uh, Chachi was is in a near somnolistic state. He might actually be a zombie at this point. And I just am horrible at video games, except for Star Wars. So you're on par. Yes, about this is about right. <laughs> See, if, if someone stays awake for 28 hours, then they have a chance. So we have to get him, get him a couple of days. Somebody said we should go 48 next year. I would say at least. At least, I, 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 no. Cha Cha looked it up one time. Or he asked me to look it up. But it was like 122 hours was like the world record. So but they got breaks. They got breaks, and uh, I think we could we could probably keep them awake with a uh, mainlining Red Bull, and then uh, probably some sort of just a sugar mixture like a hummingbird, and I think we can get them to stay awake for a nearly a week straight. Hummingbird, huh? Uh, so, have you ever gone 24 hours with uh, video games or anything? No, uh, let me think. In college, uh, I believe I was on a day long bender uh, for Homecoming 1994. Uh, I think that was the last time I was up for 24 hours. And then I slept for about three days straight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it, of course, you know, we're doing a great thing here at uh, TZM. It's, it's for the arts, for kids, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any thoughts on uh, on arts and the importance? Yeah, uh, I like art. It's very good. And actually, like the TZM and comics, are a great way for kids to start to appreciate art because you know, at first, it's, it's very simplistic. People just like it because it's superheroes and guys punching each other. And then you start to get the nuances of shading and shapes and everything. It looks better and better. And then you go from there in, in, into a kind of like more artistic things. Although a lot of the artists today, like uh, Alex Ross, we just had the exhibit over at uh, the Warhol. You know, what he does, it really isn't that much different than what uh, Norman Rockwell did, you know, back in his day, you know, and a lot of people didn't consider Norman Rockwell an artist, you know, at that time, but he was more of a, like, a, like an advertising person. And, you know, Alex Ross is kind of pigeonholed as just being a, a comic book person, but it, 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 he's as good as any of the artists out there. Just, just choose a different subject. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, what do you think we should do to go bigger next year? I think. Uh, what do you think we should do to go go bigger next year? I would say a four thousand dollar goal would be number one, uh, and then uh, I think we're going to hit close to it this year. And then uh, instead, of, you guys are ending with Rock Band, right? Yes. Uh, bare knuckle boxing. I th would think at the top. Well, we just not going to include the controllers, or are we just going to go? Yeah, are we just going to do we Queensberry rules, just like this, while holding controllers? Well, why don't we do just do we boxing, but we face each other? That would do it, I guess. It'd be a lot less violent, which is always a good thing. <laughs> excellent, excellent. We look hope to see you again next yep. year here. See you next year. Thanks Bye, a lot, everybody. Chris, uh, now, of course, uh, you're about to embark on the last hour with us. Uh, you're the freshest uh, flower of the foursome uh, to take on some rock band. Your first time on rock band, I believe, right? Uh, one of the few. I've, I've played, like, once before. It's, like, we, it's like a long time. I don't even remember. Due to the circumstances uh, beyond anybody's control, this is where we found ourselves, though. Yes, this um, is exactly where we found ourselves. So. <laughs> as a, as a, uh, uh, a standing member of Chachi in the No Pants. Yes. As, uh, well, uh, yeah, um, earlier today, uh, for those, those still uh, listening, um, uh, my car, uh, on my way here, mm -hmm. uh, my car's battery could not start, so I needed a jump. 
And by the time we got here, my time was up. So yeah, it, it, it was right at the end. There wasn't much more movement like, we could do. It was like just like literally sixty seconds le- left in the hour. It's like great. Here you are. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> Hit start. The, and for and for the right re- and for the record, um, the game I would have chosen had I been here on time would have been Goldeneye 007 for uh, for the Wii. So it's it very classic. I um, not only that it would uh, that was by request by ch- uh, not necessarily specifically by request, but last year I brought a, Na- a NASCAR game and it drained his energy. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and uh, I and as. as um, out of mutual respect for him and what he does, is I, I told myself, "Don't you dare do that again." But at least, it, at least not with respect to that game. If you're going to bring a NASCAR game, bring a different NASCAR game that one that's puts, like a NASCAR demolition derby. Maybe. Exactly, exactly, something different, something different. But, but this year, I was thinking, it's like, all right, so it, it's James Bond's 50th anniversary. You play Goldeneye a lot, or at least enough, more than enough to be. Did have N64 Goldeneye last year with Woy, I think. Yes, but uh, I wanted to bring it back this year for for we for the week. Here's good. I hear it's really good it for is. the week. It is. But uh, before you ask, uh, what um, what improvements? Uh, similar to the Tetris tournament, I suggest a Goldeneye eight-person tournament. We have one. Pl- we have um, two rounds of players. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have four each. The wi- the two winners go on to the next, mm-hmm. and then the two winners go on to meet Chachi. That's what I would do. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna uh, look at some of those things. Like, like I think I think Goldeneye, especially if, like maybe the old school ones, because that's what everybody knows is the like, old N sixty four one. Right. You know, they're familiar with it. Or Call of Duty, Tetris again, definitely Tetris again, because that went over great on Friday night. Um, but yeah, I think we're definitely gonna do look at look at a lot of that. So we'll, we'll see. We gotta survive this. We gotta survive this next hour of Rock Band. So, um, you ever go? To, yeah, what, well, you ever go twenty four hours? Uh, I've. Um, I could, but um, <laughs> theoretically, I would not. Uh, but uh, I think I, I think I could. But uh, I've gone near. I've gone half that time. Okay. Or I've nearly gone half that time. Um, uh, and if, you, if for anyone that's seeing uh, seeing this out there, um, yes, I am wearing a Mass Effect Two N Seven hoodie. It's like yes. Uh, BioWareStore.com. Thank you. Not, they did not pay me for that plug. I'm just stating. But still, it's like uh, not a sponsor of Chachi Place. And Yet, also, and also, huh? no, also number three is coming out March sixth. So it's like so uh, pre-order. Um, but uh, yes, um, I've, uh, there have been a few games that have been very that have gotten me near the edges, like or at least big chunks of uh, chunks of time. And and Mass Effect Two is definitely definitely one of them. Excellent, excellent, um, excellent. Art, you know, what are your thoughts on art? Um, well, I'm. Um, uh, uh, I I always feel like art's necessary. It's art's necessary for a for a well-rounded uh, development for a well well-rounded <laughs> education. Um, also, I was a um, I was a violinist for twenty two of uh, twenty some years. So we had a kid here earlier that I was playing with Josh. I give him a real hard time in the game. Uh, he's a young young kid. You'll see him in the interviews. He's he's learned violin. He, he's go, I guess he goes to some kind of like private school or something. But he's he like he's like knows a little bit of Russian. He's taking violin and they have lots of strings and stuff. I like that's amazing. Yeah, um, I'm th- I'm saying that um, arts are necessary. Yeah. It's like if it, if it any type of medium. I've I've graduated from the art institute here, so trust me, I know art. Uh, if it's sculpting, painting, um, digital art that I'm into now, music art that I was into there, there is always an art that you could pursue and you could you get you could. Um, you could you could um, you could really enjoy, and I think children need uh, children and kids in general really do need to enjoy need to learn that in order to figure out how to express themselves. Excellent! Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. All right. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll. Maybe next year we'll. We'll, we'll, we'll get yeah. something sorted out. It's like so. For, so, but beforehand, please, for anyone that's going to see me embarrass myself, I'm sorry. So this <laughs> this will be highly edited. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs>